Hello Magic players, welcome you to episode number 23 of the Brewers Tavern. Uh, good to have you here. Hey Charles, good to have you here as well. Um, to be here, welcome for episode 23. Yeah, I, I prepared something super nice for today. I will play Angry Wombats. Uh, what do you brought? What did you bring? Okay, that's really cool. I can't wait to see how that works. So I'm going to play uh, a version of Eureka, which I don't think um, either of us have played so far. So um, that should be pretty fun. I'm really excited about playing it. Me too. So we do it like always. Uh, we start with uh, my deck, then we go to your deck. Um, we talk a little bit about the stuff. Um, we're close to 100 mm -hmm. subscribers, which is super nice. So if you like what you see here, hit the subscribe and the like button because it's for free. <laughs> so let's move on to the deck pictures and hopefully that after that to a super nice match. Let's Sounds talk good. a little bit about my deck. As you can see, um, I play a blue, white and green Wombat deck, um, which tries to put down the, the Wombat from Legends um, and enchant it with either Unstable Mutation or uh, Spirit Link or Flight or uh, Holy Strange. Uh, Strange. All of these cards are new, so uh, my new marker or my new count for cards in the Brewer's Tavern is... Uh, raised by one, two, three, four, five cards now um, for this week's episode, which is kind of impressive, I, I would say. Um, yeah, I guess all of you know what the Wombat is doing, but even if you don't know, I will just explain it real quick. It's two colors, double green, zero, one. It gets plus two, plus two for every enchantment, which you enchant on it. And it is not tapped while attacking. So it's technically a better Sarah Angel. Um, it's not, but I, 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 I hope that it's better than Sarah Angel. Um, I play four um, Avoid Fate because, of course, I need to uh, protect my Wombat. And um, the dip, I play dips because they are super good targets for either Spirit Link or Unstable Mutation to make the game kind of fast. Um, yeah, this is basically my deck. Um, I don't think that I forgot something. So, Charles, let's move on to your deck list. Sure. First, I have to say I really love your deck. It's, it's really cool and definitely some cards we have not seen in an episode before. Um, Okay, so my Eureka list. Um, I would say the, the most classic Eureka list is playing like Colossus Astarte and all the biggest creatures um, that really aren't castable, some of the gold cards, and then using Eureka to get it out and trying to win that way. And at some point, I will play that deck. Uh, but kind of like Reanimator, I steer away from those decks because if you're playing against blue and the Eureka gets countered, you just end up with a hand of cards you can't cast. So this deck is really the six drop Eureka deck uh, because we have the Modis, the playset, the Shivans, and the Trikes. Um, and we do have um, Urnums and, and, and a few clones, um, which is slightly less than six. But um, Wild Growth is what really gets this deck going because if Eurekas are countered with the playset of Jewelry and a playset of Wild Growth, I will be able to get to six mana and be able to hard cast the creature. So, I didn't want any creature more than six casting cost in the deck. I have a chance to hard cast in case the Rika doesn't happen. Um, so that's basically what I'm going to be trying to do. So Eureka it hasn't come on stream. I don't think Clone has either. It's a fun card. I'm, I'm really excited to play it and see how it works. Um, but hopefully the Eureka gets out. This deck tends to either win very quickly or sit around and lose before it gets going but it will be really excited to see what happens hopefully the wombats will come and eat you i i, I love that so <laughs> i'm gonna have to play a wombat deck but i want to try that with the enchantress those two uh, are a very good synergy to be fair when i thought about the deck it also came to my mind that it's maybe better to play some to play it uh green red and black because you get unholy strange and uh a, a little bit more spot removals and and you get the, the giant strange from legends which gives you creature plus two plus two which is slightly better than um 
uh, unstable mutation on the long run, but you know, it, I've, I want to play blue power because as the spike I am, I need to play blue power all the time. <laughs> No, just I don't kidding. play it all the time, but it usually ends up in the deck. Yeah, like it. It's just making every, if you can afford it. Even the splash for ancestral and time walk is so good because it makes your deck so much better. It's you. You need to play it. Um, all right. Well, well, I think we have two cool decks, and I think we should go to the Brewers Tavern and see how they do. Exactly. We we move on to the to the play area, and hopefully, we have some nice rounds of magic here. So let's move on. And here we are in a Bruce Tavern. Uh, let me die roll real quick. You're even, even as always. Yep. And I start. Three is okay. Three. That's important for the Wombats to have turn one. Well, I'm not playing with uh, removal, uh, at least pre board. So I, I hope you get the Wombats going. That will be a cool way to, to win. Yeah, I, at least I want one enchanted Wombat on the board. Just one. Mm, I also found out that a card like Flight is super, in the Wombat deck, super good because it gives your Wombat flying, it gives him technically plus two, plus two. It's, but I, I was unsure about the right amount of flights and holy strange. A pile two. For you, pile two as well. Okay. And you're on the play. Yes. Huh. Uh, I need to mulligan. Keeping? Uh, too, unfortunately. Begging for that blue source, it did not come. Yeah, I, I mean, I have uh, five lands of bird and the spirit link. This is unkeepable. Uh, and just a single Taiga is not going to cut it. Yeah, even with a factory, I thought maybe I should keep that hand because I play a uh, factory go, land, bird, go. But even then, even if I have a removal for your big creature, because the spirit link is technically a super good removal as well. Yeah, that's going to be really good here. I don't have any way to get rid of it other than chaos or. Yes, exactly. Lucky for me that you have no tranquility in the board. Tranquility would get me good here. Uh, pile one. Uh, pile three for you. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think I put pile three on top. Give me a second. I just cut in the middle. Oh, Lord. Hi, Mulligan again. Okay, I'm gonna keep. Just a do nothing hand here. Uh, give me one second. This on the bottom. Which one on top? Uh, pile one. This time it was pile one. Come on. Uh, two, four, six, seven. This is better. Okay, uh, I start, right? Mox, land, go. Uh. Yeah. Um, okay. uh, factory, surrender, go. Uh, your surrender has far as well. Yes. Hmm? I, I take five because of the one damage from the surrender. Is sure. that okay? Pass turn. Uh, bird. 
third unstable mutation attack for eight. Oh, go. Hey, cars, yeah. Zero. I think we should wheel here. Oh man, that's uh, not what I want to do. But you should. I guess the bird has forest walk, right? Yeah. Um, so he's going to be a seven power. That's a really bad spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, am I going to really have to? Do I really have to wheel with um, moving zero cards? Yes. The answer is yes. The answer might be like I'm going to be at five next turn if I uh, if I pass. I don't have a choice. Ooh. <laughs> like better, better this than die. Oh, 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 oh. All right, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, this one gets a minus one, minus one counter. I draw for the turn. Play factory. Uh, play a Lotus. Uh, I, lo I, lost the li I lost the life last round. Uh, at 14 now. Thinking. I'm 14. I uh, know I'm at 15 because I. You're at four and then. Oh, two yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so right. You're so right. Sylvan. I attack you. You go to five. five. Oh, give me a second. Thinking. Are you... Yes, you go to five. I play another bird. And pass the turn. Your tap bird is forest walk. And let's see if there's anything I can do to stop this. Ooh, dip plus unstable mutation. Mwah. Arabian power. Is that something we can say on YouTube? Like Arabian power and stuff like that? That's a good one. And, uh, your turn. Two. So what, you, what is he right now? Uh, now he is, uh, he gets only plus one, plus one. So he's a four, five. Check the top three. Null problemo. I play Holy Strange on my bird. The bird is a, what is it? Uh, it's a one, three flying. And then I attack you for everything. I will block a factory with a Saren, uh, with the Urnum. Yep. Block your uh, Dib. Yep. For 13, by the way. Um, and uh, I take the rest. So you take three. Oh, I'm at two. And Psy blessed you. Okay, good game. <sighs> now the Wombat need to appear. Oh, yeah, the, the, these are going to be quick games. We should definitely get a couple more game ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Besides the fact that you didn't get a Wombat, I didn't get a Rika, nothing actually. It was a very regular game. I really I really had the fear that you start with lo uh, Land, Lotus, Eureka, turn one. This would be nuts against uh, Mulligan to five. I would have loved it, but I already mulled once, and that was the only play I had. The rest of the hand was just Land. But Urnum turn one is still good enough. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to mold a five when I have that. No, for sure not. I mean, I, especially when I say that I mulligan to five. This is too good to not try it. And I mean, as uh, the longer viewers already know, we know the deck lists before. So, of course, some of our decisions were um, influenced by the decks. We know that the other is playing and he knows for sure that I have no swords, so it's a keep for sure. But I, it I, wasn't influenced really that much because I mold to six, right? Yeah. So I'm not going to mold to five because I'm worried about a uh, turn swords when I could play an Arnhem first. Uh, you just have to go for that. Uh, pile one. Uh, pile one because you're my number one. Ha! All right. <laughs> All right. Uh. All right. Let's see if. Uh can do what they are. Both of our decks are supposed to do. 
Wombat, Wombat, where are you? Come on. I should not try that, but I'm on the draw. You know, I have okay. a friend over from Vienna, and he's like, he's a former Magic Pro player. And he, he for sure would say, don't keep that hand, bro. Don't, just don't. I, I can't keep it. Okay, I'm, I'm keeping. The problem is, it's again like five mana plus Spirit Link plus Avoid Fate, and I can't even cast Spirit Link without the bird. If you somehow manage to destroy the bird, the hand is completely lost. <sighs> and fun fact I only played. 22 mana sources, so that the mana basis is, is super greedy. That's including the birds? Uh, that's not including the birds. But I need right, a so green a, I need a green mana turn one, you know, is this, which makes it kind of hard. L2. Poo. I multi five again. I need to dip power now. A three. Uh, two, four, six, seven. Uh, yes, this is okay. Two on the bottom. Yep. Oh, so we're in your turn. Go. Eureka is double green, right? Yeah, two colorless double green. Yes, sir. the time off. Your bird, yes, sure. Good, play land and try to time walk as well. Sure. Uh, you have three, hmm? three cards, two cards. Mm. Pass the turn. Triskelion is really good, good against the Wombat. That's a zero two, right? Zero one. Zero one. Plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, I take three. <laughs> Mahamuti. I think this is. A game over. Uh, 
Wombat. Yeah. Try to cast Holy Strange on the Wombat. I'll shoot it in response. Oh, I needed to tr at least I needed to try. Yeah, pass turn. Okay. Maybe maybe you you forgot uh, you forget about it and then I have a wombat at least. It would be a, you had to try. I I had to try. Um, uh, yes, for seven. Plus seven. Oh, time walk. Oh, time walk. Uh, yes. Hmm. Okay. I forgot about that. Yes, you had that. Uh, three. Three. Down to three. Next turn. I win that now. I feel it. Feel it in my fingers. Uh, Psy blast myself. Oh, neither of us have. You didn't get any wombats going. I didn't get Eureka going. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> regular of magic games. The, the, we stay yeah, quick. Exactly. The, the problem was I drew a wombat from the top and a strange, and I thought, okay, against Triskelion, no wombats here. Also, two really balls to five was a little bit annoying, to be fair. I wasn't even going to keep that hand, except I had a second turn wheel, which I was going to use. But once you mull to five, it's like that plays over. Yeah. So, uh, I just had to, like, a hard cast. I mean, with that hand, you could also think about... I mean, when I mull, it, mull to five, you will never wheel. But with that hand, you can... Also think about playing land, crack lotus, and wheel afterwards instead of putting down the urnum if I kept seven. So I mean we could play a couple more game ones there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pile one. For you pile one as well. I keep that. Uh, that's a mull. Okay. Yeah, this is a mulligan for sure. I don't think Mox Jet's gonna do it. No. Not not with a wild growth. If it was an emerald, what do I do with uh I don't have a land? Oh yeah, exact yeah, of course. I mean yes. <laughs> One, two, or three? Um, pile two. All right. Did you choose a good one for me this time? Sorry? Did you choose a good pile this time for me? No. Oh, no. <laughs> the answer That's is so no. mean. So mean. Okay, well, um, well, we're not going to go to five, I don't think. Okay, your turn. Okay, I start with Mox, Tundra, Orb, past the turn. Your turn. Uh, play land, play time walk. Mm -hmm. Drop. Uh, pass the turn. Play the monitor. Yes. Did you 
play an artifact? No. no. Just took a, just played the bonnet your past. Okay. Um try to kill your city of press. Okay, it's gone. And pass the turn. That's true. Oh so yeah, like this. Yep, yeah, fits. That's fine. The ruby. Yep. Yeah. And um We'll uh, go to uh, discard. Okay. Uh, I disenchant end of your turn, your ruby. Okay. I have to discard one. Give me one second. Yeah, no problem. Um, discard my twist. Okay. I play surrender and pass the turn. Turn. My turn? Yeah. Uh, 19. I play a spirit link on my surrender and attack you for 3. So 16 and I you're at uh, 22. Yeah, and pass the turn. Land? Yeah. And uh... Sure. I take a damage, I get one life. So I take zero damage, right? Yep, that's right. Then draw. I take you for three. 13, and you're at 25. Pass turn. Uh, like this. Yeah, yeah. How many cards do you have? Five. Eureka. Yes, that's fun. Start. I'll play City of Brass. Yes, that's fine. I can play now a land as well. But any permanent. Any permanent. We but take if, turns. If I don't, you bring in to play one other and then it's ended, right? If you don't want to play one this round, I'll play one and then you have another chance. Uh, I play a Wombat. Okay, I will play a trike. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Turn. Did you want to put anything in play? Uh, can you respond with the trike, or is this card still running? Nothing can happen during uh, the Eureka. Then I will cast Spirit Link on my Bombard to make him okay. uh, 3 2. Another. Do you have anything else to play? No. Okay. So he's a 3 2. I'll copy the Modi. Yes. Um. No, he's a 2 3. 2 3. Give me one second just to think. I have one more card. Eureka's not over yet. He's a 2-3. Two, 2-3. Three. Two, three. Yeah, play Crossroads. So everything has haste, right? And I'll swing with everything. Okay. Um, I try to disenchant one Triskelion. Okay, I will shoot your Wombat three times. Yeah. Um, so I take 10, 14, right? So you go to 11. Exactly. And your turn. I'm at 11. And you go to 10 on your upkeep, right? Uh, no, I get a life. Oh, yeah, I yep, to that's 10, right. I go to 11. 
Give me a second, need to calculate. And you always play Crossroads last in a Eureka. You can only have one Enchant World. So, because if your opponent plays Abyss first, you end up uh, keeping yours if you play it last. Oh, that's actually a good idea. But sorry, I need to, to think. Um. I you go to ten. Mm. I attack you. Okay, I'm at ten and you're at fourteen. Yes, I will turn the dice a little bit. And I pass the turn. Are you have any cards? I have so any cards. I need to just care. And Copy artifact. Oh, sorry, I'm at clone. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, response clone still on stack. I try to psi blast your Triskelion. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, shoot you three. So 11 is gone. And you then go to nine. Yeah. They have side blast, and I'll swing with 15. Worked. That worked. Uh, shall we go to sideboard? I think so, yeah. I think that's good. And clone uh, actually turned out to be pretty useful. Yeah, I mean, clone is super nice because you can just copy your nice drops and then swing through. And crossroads turned out to be like the key card. Uh, that's right. I mean, giving haste is super, super strong. All right, now what to take out, though? That's the hard part. Mm. I think this is it. I start. When you get the Eureka going before I can uh, put up some pressure, it's so good. I probably can't win that because putting down like 10, 14 power in one turn attacking with haste. The main deck, there was, there's only one copy of Crossroads, but that was, uh, was really, really good. I also tried to keep you away from the four mana so that I have some time. But I bricked on the fourth land. I had in hand the Wombat for like five turns and I can't play it because it was four mana. But I had hopes to cast it one at one turn. Let's hope let's hope now. Yeah, I really want to, to win one game with the Wombat. Me too. I mean that's that's the cool novelty for your deck. Yeah. You did win a game with a uh uh, really big uh, Serendipa for you, which is also cool yeah. to see. Uh, pile two for you. One, two, three. Yes. Just give us a good shuffle. I try. Two, pile three. number two. All right.
Yeah, we'll, we'll try it. Go. Ada, Wild Growth, your turn. Play a Time Warp. Mm -hmm. Play City of Brass and Surrender. Go. Falcon, your turn. Take one damage. Mm -hmm. Then I try to play a Holy Strange and a Spirit Link and attack you for four. Wow. Okay, 14, and you go to 22. Yes, pass the turn. Any cards you have? Three. You can yeah. start. I'll play an Arno. Yes, I play nothing. Yeah. And uh, two cards, your turn. Uh, take a damage and get one life. Hmm. And pass the turn. All right, he has forest walk. Yes. Land. Mm -hmm. So right now he's a what? He is a four six. A four six. Yes. I'll swing with all three. I block the Mahamoti. Okay. Um, we'll put the Shivan for two. Okay. So you take uh, 12. Seven, you said seven and then four, right? You take 11. Oh, 11. Yeah. Then I'm at 11. Okay. Second main. Mock. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, and I get life. I get four life. Because I'm. You're at 15. Mahamoti. Because you get. Uh, Buck Mahamoti, and it's how much damage he deals, right? Yep. Yep. Right. Um, time walk turn. He has forest walk. How many cards you have? Uh, three. Oh, well, the jet was good. Um, you're gonna have to block the Shivan, I think. Uh, this one. I blocked the Mahamoti. Okay. Um, I get four life. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to pump the ship in for one. For one? So, so I six. get 10, right? So you block, you gain four, go to 19. Exactly. Now you take uh, 10, so you go to nine. Yes. I'll twist you for three. Uh, that's okay. Okay. And uh, it's your turn. No cards. I take a damage, get one life. I try to get control of your Shivan Dragon. Okay. And pass the turn. All right, your guy has a, that's a good draw. That um, was important to draw that. Surrender. Yep. Uh, I block the Mahamoti and take zero damage because I get yeah. four life and. Uh, your turn. I get a life, I lose a life. Uh, who got the uh, forest walk? The uh, Serendip. Okay. Play a bird. You're at 14, right? Hmm? I attack you with the Shivan. Okay, I take five. Let me calculate something. I ping you for one. All right. Seven. Pass the turn. We go to seven. 
Yes. Control magic, the shivan back. Okay. Back. Um. Passner. And uh, your bird has far as well. Okay. Go. Your turn. You played a dip. Yes. Um, your bird goes for a swalk. Yep. Um, so what's the Saren dip? Will you tell me his power and toughness again? Uh, four, six. This was in a deck, this card, uh, one episode, but never actually came up. At least now it will come up. Drop, Drop of honey. Yeah, that's fine. And it's uh, your turn. So I lose the bird? Oh, no, no, it's in my upkeep. Lowest. Oh, no, you have the bird. Uh, the bird stays. I play Ancestral. Yeah, that's great. Time. I play a Mox Sapphire. I play a Control Magic on Shiva. Okay. Yep. And I play a Spirit Link on my other Surrender and pass the turn. Yep. Ancestral will win you the game at this point. When we're top decking. Um, um, I lose the bird, right? I'll get Forest Walk to it, and then you'll lose it. Okay. Um, yeah, your turn. So I, I'm at five. I draw, and I try to attack you with everything. Yes, with I'll him. block the given. I. Pump him so we trade. Yep, and uh, oh, how much damage do I take? Uh, six, seven, seven. Okay. It's a good game. Wow. <laughs> Interesting game. That, that was close. Uh, it's, the Ancestral got you over the top. At that yeah. point, top deck, that's really good. The Ancestral yeah. was insane. I found Mock Sapphire. Um, Spirit Link and Control Magic. I also, just because I know your list, you have, I think, two Control Magics in your board, right? Yes, exactly. You got both. I have four brought in, and I only saw one, so that's why that's I pretty kept good. in the Void Fate to counter your Control Magic for one mana, but sadly I needed to discard them in the Mind Twist. That was a really good game. Will we play two more games and then we'll go to the sideboard? Yes. I think these are quick. Time. Yeah. All right, this and one more. One, two, three. Pile one. For you, pile one as well. Okay, pile one. I'll be on the play. Yes. This time I keep it. No fear at all. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna keep. Yes. Um, pass turn. Uh, Mox, Savannah, and Soul Ring, pass turn. Tutor go to 19 and pass. Uh, I played it and passed the turn.
Yep. Um, pass in your upkeep all ancestral. Yes. Draw. Play a land and play two unstable mutation on my surrender. Sorry, I'm at 19. Okay. And four nine. I'm at 10. Pass the turn. Any cards? Two. Go to eight. Play Eureka. That's fine. I will play the uh, wild growth. I will play a bird, which is technically also a wild growth on a stick. Sure. Seven is good. Strike. Strike is good. Is your um, creature going to be in your upkeep? Uh, this one is infinite big still. It's uh, plus four, plus four, so it's a seven, eight. Your upkeep will be a seven, eight. Yeah. Um, okay, that, uh, that's it. My turn? Pass turn. I lose one life. He gets two counters. I draw a card. Thinking. Attack you. Block. Uh, before. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll shoot your guy three times. Okay. Uh, then he's dead, and I pass the turn. How many cards do you have? Two. Seven. I'll twist the two. Uh, I will play a psionic blast on you. Go to three. And discard unstable mutation. And um, your turn. I'll swing for one. Yeah. Pass turn. City of Brass. Pass turn. Go to two. Yeah. And for one, pass turn, four cards. Land, pass turn. Bird as far as one. Yep. Yeah. Ten. Pass turn. Play a Sylvan Library and pass the turn. Four. Uh, weren't you bit five? How'd you get to four? Uh, I took a damage somewhere. Okay. I, I was at fourteen, and you attacked me with the. Uh, I, I missed the city then. Um, pass turn. Trigger. Uh, thinking. Always take an extra card. Uh, I think I. Don't want to do that. I try to steal your urn and pass it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Steal it back. Okay. Attack. Swing for one. Go to three. Pass turn. I play a spirit link on your urnum and pass the turn. Okay. Bird as far as one. Uh, I block the urnum. No, I'm and not swinging with the urnum, but right. I'm only swinging. 
Okay, with the only with the trike. Uh, yeah, I go to two then. Any cards? Zero. Um. This is funny. Um, if I use the city to cast, I would die because I'm at two life. Uh, well, Eureka. Okay. No cards. Break. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't use the city to cast it. The funny <laughs> way to try to get the trike out. Ah, uh, oh, that was sad. really. Man, these games are really close. The mind twist won you the game. If you oh, did man, not that's... cast the mind twist, the bird would kill you with unstable mutation. Oh, these games are super interesting and super close. Um, what a what an episode. Um, all right, so one more, and then we'll do the sideboard tech. Yes, exactly. They're not long games, though, so it's it's good. Yeah, to get it's a lot fine. Of... Like we're playing super aggressive decks, each of us. Game, really, really good game. They're all good. Love the control magic uh, on each other. Pile yeah. two. Pile one. For two. Number two. Okay. Number one for you. <laughs> Sadly, I can show directly I need to mulligan. Um, yeah, that's not good. Maybe I'm too greedy with four factories, but I I think I... I'm keeping. They're fine. Okay. Uh, it's barely a keep with the last card. One, three. I'll two. For two. That's a keep. I start uh, land, bird, pass turn. Land, mm -hmm. pass turn, and your upkeep will take one on one ancestral. Yep. Play a factory, play a chaos orb, and pass the turn. Land. Yeah. Wild growth. Yes. Eighteen. I'm going to play a time walk. Mm -hmm. uh, one second. End of turn. I chaos or pure city of press with the wild growth. Uh, your turn. Seven cards. Uh, attack you for two. Sixteen. Pass the turn. Um. Sir. I try to play regrow, get back the chaos orb, and chaos orb your tropical island. And pass the turn. That's that's really good. Um, oh, let's. Uh, wow. The best game to end on. I'm just going to end loot without any lands. Oh, um, I, I I think I can't do that with the chaos or I regrowed in my no I regrowed last turn right no this turn. Give me a second, bring back the land. I need five mana, right? Because I cast regrowth. Yeah, you need five. Use it now. Uh, I just regrow for the Chaos Orb and attack you for two. Pass. Okay. Yeah. Am so, I in 16, right? Now I'm confused. Uh, no, you're at 14. This one attack 14, okay. three times now. Sorry. Right, so I, you, you took the Chaos Orb. Yeah. But you took two damage out of the City of Brass. Yeah, Chaos Orb is in okay. um, Yeah, this is really, really good for you. But I still don't have a land, and this was my shot to win the game. 
luck, lucky meteor, yeah. but unlucky. Yeah, I, if, I had, if, I had, if I had a fourth mana source, this game was over right now. Um, I'll uh, go to. I'll go to discard. Let oh. Discard. Burn him. Yeah. Close. Uh, Chaos or Pure Tropical. Mm -hmm. And attack for two. Off. Pass the turn. Library. Yes. And I have to discard. How do I have eight cards here? What am I doing wrong here? I think I had to discard something last turn. Um, I will discard a... Uh... Oh, too. Okay, I have seven cards. And uh, pass turn. I attack you. Go. We'll draw with the library. Yes. Oh, I still have no lands. Unbelievable. We will go to discard two cards. And drop the funny. Okay. Attack you for two. Pass turn. Play land. Mm -hmm. And we will go to discard. Mind twist. Uh, end of okay. turn. I. Four. And Psy Blast you on my turn. Okay. Oh god, lucky me that you did not resolve the Eureka here. Well, good good matches today. They, Around an hour, really, right? They were really great. Like, it happened a lot. Sadly, I didn't manage to win with a Wombat here. But I will bring them back at some point, and then you will see the might of of the almighty Wombat. Eh, you, you'll have another shot. And I'm definitely going to try, if you don't try it first, um, that deck with uh, Chantress, I think. Maybe that's more uh, your style, that deck. Yeah, I, the, the problem is you need to play at least 12 enchantments. And there is the problem with the, with the deck. Your deck is super fast, super full. I mean, I do not play any balance, which is probably a, pro uh, a mistake, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, the deck is super fast, super full, because you also want to play cards like this. With the Wombat, the flight is insanely good. It's a 2-4 flying, which has Vigilance. Um, yeah, cards in my sideboard. Cards I boarded in. I boarded out of three disenchants, boarded in to control magic and a maze. Um, the problem is I don't want to lose any of the um, enchantments and I don't want to lose the wombats. Probably it's the right choice to board out the wombats and board in um, and leave in the disenchants and board in those four. Um, but in the end I felt pretty solid with the um, with the two control magics, the maze and the disenchant and bought out the disenchant. I mean, obviously the Divine Offering are only good against the Triskelion, and uh, I never get 6 life from the Triskelion, because normally you shoot, you, uh, shoot it. Um, the 4 blue elemental blasts are good against Shivan Dragons, but you only run 4, so don't see any point here of boarding them in. It's the only thing I would have wanted in my deck, as well as a maze, but that's okay, I think. I had enough removal. Yeah, this is my supporting plan. Um, I took out the crossroads and one wild growth, which I didn't think was needed. Um, and then I had to just pull four cards. I didn't think the clones were as good. Um, and the four control magics and drops to try to uh, buy time to get to four mana. Um, your last KS or double KS was too much with... Uh, that's one of the problems with wild growths is... Um, you lose a land, it's a two for one. Now, since we're playing just one strip, usually it's okay, but yeah, when you have double chaos orb, that's really good against uh, the wild growth deck. Um, 
yeah, I thought the drop of honeys might do some work. They didn't end up doing it. Um, and you saw more of your two control magics, I think, than I saw my four. So <laughs> That's I, true. That was really bad. But all the games are super close. I mean, even that last game, if I had I drawn a land, um, that turn when you regrowed the Chaos Orb, I had like four four large creatures out. Yeah, exactly. The, the games are coming down to a knife's edge. Exactly. If, if you would bring out one Eureka, I'm dead. I'm just gone. Yeah, they're super close, but super fun. Um, you're, there's a lot of really cool stuff you could do with Eureka. This is, I think, a, a pretty classic version. Um, there are many other ones that I'm really excited to play and show, but at least uh, it took to episode 23 for Eureka to come out. I'm glad we have one, one deck uh, on video, and I'm looking forward to playing uh, a different style Eureka deck at some point down the road. Should be fun. Me too. I will also play probably at some point the black, red, and green Wombat deck just to try it with Lightning Balls because it's a little bit more aggressive and Giant Strange and the Unholy Strange and stuff like that. Maybe that works better. Um, wombat wise. Um, thank you for the episode, Charles. Was a pleasure. Yeah, thank to you very much. You. This was this was really great, really, really great games. And I look forward to episode 24. 24 and i hope all the viewers enjoyed it and they'll subscribe yeah subscribe because it's for free yeah just hit the subscribe and the like button if you like what you see here charles i wish you a nice day and the viewers as well i uh, hope to see you next time see you next time everyone bye